time since he's been at Stratford Bradley in 1979. He's 11-15 against these honors. Bill and Christensen, that's the chance. So let's play basketball, let's get it on. All the time, first of all, to go to Jeff. That's what they say at Mueller Motor Company in St. Paul's $26,000. We were away. Brever comes back, puts in a three. Sorry about that. We took a 30-second timeout. We had some technical troubles back at the studio. Honors come back, 41, puts it up and in, rebound controlled by Christensen. Redsloff couldn't find the whole baseline right side. Brever now brings it back up, puts it over to Webster. Right side, he finds a slashing Christensen. Dan Lodi Yamelin, he works it down low, puts it up and in. Dustin Yamelin finds the hole from two feet. Five to two now, Cardinals with the lead with 6.40 to play here first quarter. Honors try to work it down low, ball stripped by Webster again. Over to Braver, left side. Braver works it back to the top of the key. Man-to-man -man defense by the Otters. He's guarded by Erickson. Puts it over to Kelly. Kelly finds Yamelin. Yamelin dribbles around, takes a three-point or three-throw resistance shot, and he puts it up and in. Four now for Yamelin. 7-2. Cardinals out to the quick start. 6-16. Otters come back. Ball stripped again. This time, Jason Kelly gets a hand on it, and he gives it to Braver. Braver puts it ahead for Webster. Webster can't find the hole. Goes back to the Otters. So the Otters trying to push it up the court, but they've had it twice. So once three times by the court, they've had it stripped away from them. Otters come back in now. J Timothy Erickson works against Braver at the point. He puts it off over to 25. Newell. Newell tries to look down low. Can't, can't find Draxton down low. Finally gets it to him at the top block. Draxton puts it over to Ness. Ness works against Christensen. Puts up a shot too much. Rebound by Yamelin. Cardinals come back. Kelly at the point. Goes in against three Otters. Puts it up and in. So Jason Kelly with a nice stutter step goes uh, through it one on three against the Otters and finds the hole. Erickson works it back down low. He gets it over to Draxton. Draxton can't find the hole. Rebound Braver. Braver, the shortest man on the court, comes away with it. 9-2 Cardinals at the 520 mark. Webster works over on the, long, on the far side of the court. He double dribbles. Just a big game atmosphere tonight in Staples as we have the three official lineup, just like an NCAA game. Otters come back now. Erickson works the point against Braver. Man-to-man -man shown by the Cardinals. They get it down low to Ness. Ness works against Christensen. Puts up a shot short. Rebound Yamelin. Braver. Braver on the run now for the Cardinals. He retreats, slows down. Looks at Erickson. Puts it over to Kelly. Kelly trying to get the ball down low. Yamelin now top of the key. Yamelin showing nice form for the game. He had the ball 18 feet from the hoop. Flexes and dices. Puts it in. Quickly bounce up with a shot. Takes the boot around his mouth. No good rebound. Webster. Boy, Newell couldn't find the hole. Cardinals come back quickly. Yamelin gets an inbound pass from Braver. Puts it up and in. Yamelin now with a quick eight. 13-2. 13-2, the Cardinals are out to the lead. Erickson comes up, dribbles around down the middle, takes a shot from 14. Braver with the board. Boy, it's been all Cardinals so far for since that two to nothing lead for the Otters. Christensen takes a 15-foot shot, that falls short. Webster with the board against amongst the trees. Webster puts it out to Braver, takes a three, count it! Jeff Braver with the three. That's gonna be enough for Fergus Falls. Gary Schuler needs a timeout. With the 4.08 mark here in the first quarter, Carl Stu, we're back in a minute. When both you buy us, then you'll buy us. The highest Chevrolet. City Bowl. Lay Perkins falls now trailing by 14, 60 to 2 early in the first quarter. They try to work the down low. Another strip by the Cardinals. Jason Kelly on the run now. He brings it all along, puts it off to Webster. Webster baseline right side, count it. 
Webster first on the books, 18-2. Staples Motley, boy, are they showing game tonight. Otters just a shamble looking around, stunned like they got hit by Mike Tyson. They finally reload. A couple of new guys in the game. Christensen and Arneson in the game. Arneson takes a shot. Um, Christensen gets the rebound. So the Cardinals come back. They lead 18-2 with the 322 mark. And slashing Jason Kelly comes from the left. He goes up and under. And he puts it in for the Cardinals. Kelly now with four. Kelly has been practicing well for Lynn Peterson, and he's really showed game last night and tonight. Quick law, a short, a long two-point shot put up and in then by Brent Neff. So the Otters finally get their fourth point of the night. Cardinals come back, work it over to Webster right side. High post to Christensen, trying to get it down low to Yamelin. He's covered well. Kelly now, top of the key, slices and dices. Nice jump stop with the buddy hop. He puts it up and finds the hole. 22-4 Cardinals. Christensen, Titus Christensen running the point now for the Otters. Works it around. He finally finds Ness. Ness works down low. He's going to be hacked. I believe that'll be on Wade Christensen. If so, that'll be Christensen's first. And it is. The first foul in the game tonight. It's Christensen's first. And first on the Cardinals. Jason Kelly comes out, and everybody that can get a hand on him is giving him a hug. He's played a heck of a game so far with six points. 22-4, Cardinal lead. Otters inbound underneath their own basket, inbounded to Ness. Ness works baseline, left side, puts it up and in. No, not Ness. Excuse me, that was Justin Arneson. Arneson off the bench now with two. 22-6, Cardinals with the lead and the ball. Tim Run replaced. Jason Kelly has the ball. Gets it to Yamelin. High post. Yamelin with a leaner up and in. He's got 10. 24-6 at the 2-10 mark. Flash back down the court. Cassette has it. Baseline. Left side. Boy, he can't do anything with it. This man-to-man -man defense by the Cardinals just giving the Otters nightmares so far. Reload Arneson. Top of the key. He tries to take a shot. And it's gonna. we're going to have a foul over the top. No, I believe Shannon Webster got underneath. And he's going to end up with a foul. The ball was tipped up in the air, and Webster and, um, I believe, Cassette were just trying to get up and to it. And he got caught underneath. So that'll be Shannon Webster's first foul, second now on the Cardinals. Ball inbounded to Titus Christensen. He works against Run. Russ passes it off over to Erickson. Excuse me, Cassette. Cassette back over to Arneson. Arneson back over to Cassette. Cassette down low, working the post, up and in. Count it for number 31, um, Peter Draxton. Draxton now with two. 24-8. Cardinals with the lead and the ball. Brunton works around left side, gets it to Yamelin, top of the key. He finds Braver. Braver back to Yamelin on a give and go. Yamelin bounces it four times, puts it home. Yamelin lighting it up with 12. 26 8 Cardinals at the 115 mark in the first quarter. Christensen back quickly for the Otters. He puts it off over to Cassette. Cassette is just hounded. Braver steals the ball. He picks the pocket clean. He puts it up. He has it blocked, but he still finds the hole. Braver now with eight. The track meet so far. Cardinals 28 to 8. A huge first quarter. Under a minute to play. Otters stunned, just thinking about it. Arneson slows it down a bit. And the ball's tipped out of bounds by Christensen. Christensen's going to take a rest, and is, uh, Jason Kelly's going to go back in. Draxton's going to take a seat for the Otters. And number 15, Brendan Geese, gets in. Ball comes into Arneson. 45 seconds to play now in the first quarter. Arneson over to Christensen. Christensen works against Rutten. Over to Cassette. Cassette back to Christensen. Christensen finds a slashing Arneson. Top of the key. He works against Braver. He's shaking. Nice bank shot by Arneson off of the left side, up and in. 28-10 now, 20 seconds to play in the first quarter. Cardinal's going to work it around, trying to get the last shot. Kelly has the ball over on the left side. Yamelin, top of the key, gets it over to Webster. Kelly now working left side. He slices and dices, creates something from nothing, but can't find the hole. Otters come back, and they're going to run out of time, and that's how the first quarter's going to end. 28-10.
Staples Motley over the Fergus Falls Otters. We're back in one minute. The first quarter to take an 18-point lead. They had the ball to start the second. They work it around. Now Braver has the ball top of the key. He works against uh, Christensen. Hands it off to Webster. Yamala now out at a wingman spot, like a, where a two-man would sit over on the far side. Kelly with the dribble drive penetration, tries to push it over to Webster. Ball tip, but controlled by the Cardinals. Yamala now working the ball around. He works it right side. Can't find the hole. Kelly with the long three. No two. Doesn't go. But Rutten with the rebound. And he travels. Rutten comes down with it. He's uh, uh, Jim Rutten off of the bench for the Cardinals. Sitting at 5'10", he goes up against 6'3", 6'5", and 6'4", and comes down with the rebound, but he won. Arneson off the bench with four points in the first with the ball now for the Otters. 7'10", to play third quarter, 28-10, Staples Motley. Arneson couldn't find a handle on it, and he just throws it out of bounds. Cardinals charge back, Webster can hit the ball now. He gets it into Braver. Braver's going to be met by Christensen. Again, man-to-man -man defense both sides. Yamelin thinks about a three for a second, but just basically to draw his man out on him. Webster comes off a pick and puts a big shot in from the free throw line. Webster now with two points on the night, or four points on the night. Braver's charge back quickly. They work it around. Christensen finds Arneson, top of the key. They tried to get something going to left side, but they couldn't find the hole. Down low, Yamelin strips the ball. Cardinals charge back, Braver puts it over to Kelly, right side. Kelly quickly down low to Yamelin. Yamelin can't find the home, back out to Kelly. Kelly now barking it around, finally gives it to his point guard, Jeff Brever. Brever, a sophomore. One of the better point guards we've seen all year. A slashing Webster gets the ball down low and he's hacked. Webster gets the ball coming off of a, a double pick down low off of the baseline. He gets the ball right underneath the basket, and he's fouled quickly by number 11, Dustin Cassette. That's the first foul on the Otters of the game, and Cassette's first, obviously. Christensen steps back in, and the entire red line comes back in now for the Otters. They put in back, back in Ness, Newell, Traxton. Um, Redloff's back in, and I believe Erickson. Cardinals inbound the ball. Braver had a shot at a three briefly, but couldn't find the hole. Webster working now right side, waiting for the picks to come through. Nothing going. Otter stepped up their defensive intensity just a little bit. Braxton Willie really working it out on the top of the key. Christensen almost loses the hole. His man goes by him. Wide open. Shannon Webster for a three. That falls short. Rebound controlled by Christensen. Christensen, excellent rebounder for the Cardinals. Braver, nice down low dish to Yamelin, and Yamelin's back. He'll go to the line. Boy, Jeff Braver, it's for such a, 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 he's not a tall kid. He sits on 5'9". He drew the entire defensive down low scheme for the Otters. Three man draw to him. He just quick dishes it off to Yamelin, and Yamelin's hacked, and he goes to the line, and he makes the first foul. Brent Ness was the one who got his hand on him. Yamelin, with that three throw, now has 13 points. Webster sits down, Rutten replaces him. Cardinals will probably go with a six-man rotation all night as Yamelin makes his 14 points off of free throw. Erickson back in at point now, works against Braver. Pushes over to Draxton. Draxton almost has the ball stolen. Pushes it off to Ness. Ness, top of the key, works against Christensen. Down low, inbound pass to Newell. Newell works the, the post well with a cut-in move and finds the hole against Yamelin. He now has four. 32-12 at the 5-15 mark. Cardinals way out in front by 20. Rutten works the ball around. Cardinals showing a little bit different offense than they have in the last few games. And we got a five-second closely guarded against Tim Rutten as he's trying to work the ball around. And remember, this year, new rule, you're guarded five seconds closely whether you're moving or not. No soup goes the other way. Erickson now back for the Cardinals. He tries to shake off. Braver can't do so. Gets it over to Retloff. Retloff hands it off down low. Long arcing shot by Ness. Ness can't find the home. Braver could be the leading um, rebounder in the game. As he gets the board, he goes coast to coast. Goes in for a shot. It's tipped. He'll go... Um, 
Cardinals will retain possession. 4.41 mark here in the second quarter. Cardinals inbounding the ball underneath their own basket. Rotten with a quick five-second call, trying to get the inbound, and the Cardinals turn it over again. So the Otter defense steps up and forces a turnover. Timothy Erickson comes back up with the ball, the 5'10 junior. Dribble drives, finally gets past, a little bit of penetration past Braver, but he can't find the hole. Yamelin gets the board. Braver brings it back now for the Cardinals, gets it over to Kelly, right side. Kelly works it around, high post to Christensen. Christensen, dribble drive in, he's hacked to the act, he'll go to the line. Christensen with a rare offensive look, very good defensive player. Foul's going to be on uh, Retzloff, that's Justin. First foul, Otter's third. So that puts Wade Christensen on the line, he'll be shooting two. He's um, averaging 8.7 points per game so far in the year. Down a little bit as he misses that. Um, didn't score last night. And a big 10 rebounds a game on the year for Christensen. Just huge on the board. Christensen puts up his second shot and that does fall. And Shannon Webster back into the game. He'll replace Jeff Rever. So Lynn Peterson and the Cardinals really just rotating a man around at each position, trying to get everybody a blow to stay fresh in this one. We're at the halfway mark in the second quarter, 33-12. Cardinals on top. Long three-pointer taken by the Otters, number 33, Ness. That falls short. Rebound uh, by the Cardinals. Kelly comes back in. He's hacked on the run. Just creating, trying to put a body into the basket, and he's going to be fouled by Erickson, and that's going to be the Erickson's first. Fourth team foul. It's going to give the Cardinals the ball underneath their own basket with this 21-point lead. Inbound comes to Kelly. Cardinals slow down a little. Then Jason Kelly pulls by everybody right up the lane for two. Kelly now with eight. Erickson. Works the point now for the Otters. Trying to find a slasher. He finds Retzloff. Retzloff baseline left side against Kelly. They're forced to the middle. Nice slash move there by Newell. He can't find the hole. Yamelin with the board. Kelly now brings the ball back up for the Cardinals. Pushes it off to Webster. Webster gets it to Christensen. Christensen wide open. Jason Kelly for three. It's tipped in the air. Falls short. Quickly back of the Cardinals, Newell, or by the Otters. Newell tries a flashing Ness. Ness puts it up and in for two. Well, you wouldn't want to get in a track meet at all with these Otters teams, but then again, I shouldn't say that because that's what the Cardinals have tried to do, and they have a big lead. 35-14 at the 305 mark, second quarter. Cardinals way out. Working the ball around, well within their offense. Rutten puts up a shot, can't find the hole, gets his own rebound quickly, but falls short. Ness strips it away, gets it to Erickson. Erickson dribble drive in, puts up a shot from blocked. Rebound controlled by Draxton. Draxton puts it up and he's back. So Draxton with a quick wit on the ball. Is, he jumps up and gets it, puts it up quickly, but he's fouled by Dustin Yamelin. That'll be Yamelin's first foul and the third of the half on the Cardinals. Brent Ness now on the free throw line. Or excuse me, Peter Draxton at the free throw line. I believe they were going to put Ness, but they didn't. He misses the first. The first free throw attempt of the night for the Otters. Draxton now with his second shot, with the shoot, two-shot opportunity. He makes that one count. Must have made the first one, excuse me. He did make the first one. Cardinals come back. Webster gets it over to Braver, right side. Braver back into the game. He shakes man off. Dribble drive, penetration, down low in. Puts up a prayer and makes it. So Braver up and in. He's got 10 on the night. My mistake is um, Peter Draxton makes both of those free throws. They have 16 on the night. Just counting things up. Yeah, that's how it is. Cardinals quickly back now with the ball, and as they try to push it down low, they have it tipped away. Otters charge back, but Shannon Webster steps in front of the ball, and it goes out of bounds. Braxton with four points on the night. 
Getting a little confused here, trying to keep that pencil sharp. I forgot my pencil sharpener at home. Honors inbound the ball. Ness finds Christensen. Christensen travels as he tries to get dribble penetration off of the left side. Cassette's going to check back in for the Otters. He's going to replace big number 33, Brent Ness, the 6'5 senior. Full court pressure now applied briefly by the Otters. Cardinals get the ball in, no problem. Two minute mark here in the second quarter. Webster works the ball left side, tries to push it down low, can't find it. Stripped by the Otters. The Otters charge back. Christensen on the run. He works against Webster. He's been dribble drive and he's hacked. It's going to be before the shot. He did make a shot, but it's no shot. It's going to be Shannon Webster's second foul, fourth of the, the, the half. Ryan Carlson checks in for the Otters. He'll replace Peter Draxton. Draxton with four. This is the first action um, Andy Larson's seen so far on the night. Otters re inbound now underneath their own basket. Jason Kelly checking back into the game. He'll replace Shannon Webster with two fouls. Cardinals spreading things out very well. Inbound pass comes over to Arneson. Arneson pushes it down low. He gets the ball back. Three-point arc. He takes a three. That falls short. Rebound controlled by Yamelin. Long weak side rebound. Passes it off to Kelly. Kelly gives it back to Braver. Braver now works the left side. Gets it to Yamelin down low. Yamelin has the ball stripped as he goes up. And the scum on the floor. Um, Going to go out of bounds. Cardinal ball. Boy, Yamelin was eating him up down low in the first quarter. He had 12 points. They haven't been getting the ball to him as well, but they have been running a slightly different offense where they've been looking for the post to cut through on a low post screen. Run now set to inbounds the ball. He finds Braver. Braver quick takes a three. That's well short. Rebound controlled by Arneson. Arneson and the Otters on the run. Running the floor very well. Arneson finally stacked up. He takes a shot. Rattles around. No good. Chris Jensen. No scratch that. Yamelin gets the rebound. Cardinals now come back. Both teams really liking to get out on and run tonight. Rutten now gives it to Yamelin. High post. Yamelin takes a 16-footer. Puts it home. So Yamelin shooting very well. It doesn't really matter for him where he is uh, in relationship to the bucket tonight. Whether he's 2 feet or 18, he's making them. Cardinals come, or the Otters come back. Cassette, dribble drive against front and can't get anywhere. Hands it off over to Newell. Newell gets caught down low. And he throws it out of bounds. Cardinal ball. Boy, the defensive pressure. Man on man, the Cardinals are putting on. Like super glue. 42 seconds left to play here in the first half. 39-16. Staples Motley way out in front. And they have been since the get-go. Braver brings the ball up. He's guarded by number 15, Brendan Grease, first time in the game. Or Gies, excuse me. So Gies in the game, a 5'9 senior guarding Braver. Cardinals working the ball around now, looking for the last shot, trying to kill the last 40 seconds. Ball clocked down to now 10 seconds. Braver with the dribble drive. Now we're down to eight, seven. Braver gets down low penetration. Can't find Christensen, battled around, and we're going to have a jump ball with 2.8 seconds. And the Otters contain or retain the possession. So after all that work, the Cardinals with a nice dribble drive penetration by Braver, and he can't find Christensen on the down low block. Ball just kind of batted away. Ball comes in with two seconds left. Long three-quarters taken, and it's no good. So that's how it ends at the end of two quarters at the halftime score. Staples Motley, 39. Fergus Falls, 16. We're back in two minutes to wrap up the first 65-27, but it was closer than that. So I twist off the top. I'm not a winner, and we're ready to start the second half of basketball. Staples Motley inbounds the ball. Shannon Webster finds Dustin Yamelin, and the Yamelin hands the ball right back to him. 
Cardinals work the ball around. Braver finds Webster, top of the key right side. Hits finds a slash in Jason Kelly. Kelly over to Braver. Braver find it, find a post man. Can't do so. Too high post now for the Cardinals, showing another different offensive look. Almost going with a 1-4 look at the Cardinals. Wide open, Shannon Webster finds it. Puts it home, left side. Webster with six. 41-16, Cardinals. 7-30 mark in the third quarter. Erickson works the ball back around for the Otters. He finds Ness. Next finds Draxton. Draxton pans it off back to Erickson. Erickson gets the ball down low to Newell. Newell puts it up and in. So Newell breaks the ice quickly for the Cardinals. He now has, or for the Otters, he has six. 41-18 at the seven-minute mark here in the third quarter. Cardinals way out on top. Christensen controls the ball for the Cardinals. He gets it over to Braver. Braver, Braver excuse me, left side. Braver finds a slashing Shannon. Webster takes a shot from the free throw line, and he puts it down. Peterson working everyone into the offense on this game. Otters quickly charge back. Shot put up, false long. Rebound goes out of bounds. Last tip by an Otter. Webster will inbound now for the Cardinals. He finds Dustin Yamelin. Yamelin guarded tightly, but then puts it back to Brever. Or excuse me, to Webster. Full court pressure was applied on that case by the Otters. Cardinals handle it with very little difficulty. The inbound pass down low to Christensen. He puts it down and he Oh, nice body control by Wade Christensen as he finds the home. He now has three on the night. He'll go to the line. He's followed by Draxton. Check that. Red flop. That's his second. Christensen with just nice touch on that. And he puts it up and in. Count the free throw. Four points. Big three-point play for Wade Christensen. 46-18. Cardinals on top of the Otters at the 622 mark here in the third quarter. Otters work the ball in. Trying to find it down low. Can't get it. Kelly with the board. He's out with a sprint. Can't get it home. Rebound controlled by Retzloff. And he's pushed. So Retzloff is pushed as he gets the rebound. He's going to get pushed by Yamelin. That's Dustin Yamelin's second foul in the game. First one of the half on the Cardinals. Ah, excuse me. Otters come back now, Erickson, dribble drive penetration, runs into a double team, comes up, quick stop and pop from 12, can't find the home. Christensen with the rebound, gets it off to Kelly. Kelly now works it, now a down low one for, clear out for Jason Kelly, he's quick with a dish to Wade Christensen. Kelly draws everybody to him with a nice little dish. Christensen with a kiss, finds the hole. Otters now work it back, trying to find the home. Christensen almost steals the ball. He's nice slashing cut to Erickson. Erickson finds the ball underneath the basket, puts it up, hits the first two points on the night. Braver now controls the ball against the pressure. Gets it past the timelines, dribbles in a circle. Kelly, dribble drive penetration in. He's going to be hacked as he's going to the basket. I don't think they're going to get him on the... He's on number 41, Redfloff. So Redfloff picks up too quick, and that's his third foul. He's going to be replaced probably by Justin Arneson. As Arneson cuts in, Redfloff does come on. Goggles with the ball underneath their own pass. Braver finds Yamelin. Yamelin back to Braver. Braver over to Webster. Webster travels. Kind of an exciting look on this game tonight as we have a... Otters get the ball, and they move the ball in quickly, work it around. They find Draxton. Draxton works the ball into Arneson. Arneson dribble drive, kicks it out to Neff. Neff can't find the hole. Rebound Webster. Webster's hack. Webster's just going to get run over by, I believe, um, Newell as he gets that rebound. It is Peter Newell, or David Newell. That's Newell's first. The third team fall here in the second half. Inbounds pass comes to Yamelin. Yamelin picks up his dribble in a dangerous spot, but finds Braver. Braver with a nice dribble. He dribble drives. Spin move down low, and he's travel. Well, and he's... Peterson thought he was tacked, but he did definitely travel as he tries to bring it down. Just got a little bit ahead of himself. That was um, pushed out of bounds on a block shot anyway. Erickson brings it back up quickly now. Tries to blow by Kelly. Does. Kelly recovers. 
Puts it off over to Arneson. Arneson takes the 15 footer, top of the key makes it. So Arneson in the books now, he has six. Full court pressure by the Otters. Guards break it, brings it up, tries to push it over to Christensen. Christensen loses the handle. He tries Yamelin, Yamelin with an open ankle. tip, and he's hacked. So Yamelin will go to the line. Yamelin looked like he was just a nice, nice, fake shot as he's followed by David Newell. Looks like he was going to go up for a shot. Whitman comes back down with it. Up and under goes to the hole and he's hacked. So Yamelin can add to his 17. Three for three from the line tonight. Yamelin shoots. Over 90% from the line, leading the Cardinals, who chewed over 70% from the line as a team. Yamelin puts the second one up and in. He has 18 now on the night. 427, third quarter, Cardinals 50. Otters 22. Otters work the ball back down. Draxton left side. He gets it over to Newell. Newell now tie high post. Dribble drive against Yamelin. Yamelin all over him like a blanket and fouls him. They call the foul on Yamelin. That's going to put Newell to the line shooting two. A questionable foul, but there was a lot of contact. Newell puts the first shot up, rattles around, falls short. It's only the third free throw the Otters have shot tonight. They're two for three. Now that's the fourth. He makes that with seven points. Newell has three for throw, four from the line for the Otters so far. Full court pressure again applied by the Otters. They put it on well, but the Cardinals break it even better. Rutten gets the ball up court. He gives it to Brever. Brever reloads, thinks about it, high post, top of the key. Over to Rutten, left side. Rutten works it to the top. Now Yamelin. Yamelin has it at the point guard position. He quickly passes it off to Brever. Braver gives it to Kelly. Kelly slashes, slices, and dices down low to Christensen. Christensen gets it and puts it in. Christensen now with eight. Kelly really, really looking sharp tonight. Otters working around. Arneson takes a shot, falls short. Rebound controlled by Yamelin, and he travels as he comes down with it, trying to get it off to Kelly. Jason Kelly has come around. In the last two, three games for these Cardinals, he struggled a bit to start out the year, but man, as he looks sharp tonight. Otters inbound the ball, they quickly get it up, can't find the shot, gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. So score two for Titus Christensen. Christensen with two, now eight bench points for the Otters. That's as much as they have from any starter. Kelly works the ball around for the... Cardinals, 52-25 at the three-minute mark. Cardinals in the lead. Rutten works it around, finds Kelly. Kelly baseline right side, dribble drive penetration. Gets everyone to bite, but can't get the handle on the pass to Christensen. Quickly, up bounds are the Otters. Cassette has it right side, trying to work it down low. Arneson has it. Nice um, cutback to Cassette, and he dribble, a double dribble. Nice look from Cassette to Newell, and then back to Cassette on the give and go. But Cassette just um, double dribbled, put two hands on that ball quickly. Again, full court pressure applied by the Otters. Run set to inbound the pass. Long inbounds to Braver. Braver's going to make him pay as he has Christensen left side, and he's blocked! Oh my, what a block by David Newell! Newell took the ball and just punches it against the glass. Oh my. Newell quickly comes back, puts up a long shot, rebound controlled by Braver. Braver and the Cardinals come back. Webster over to Rutten, left side. Rutten gets it over to Kelly. Kelly now reloads for the Cardinals over on the top of the key. At the 215 mark, he gets it to um, Brever. Brever can't down too low. Three seconds in the lane called against the Cardinals. Officials are all over everything tonight with this three official outlook. New Cardinal into the game tonight. Evan Frisk sees a little action as Yamelin and Kelly sit down. Otters work the ball around, trying to find a cutter. Is Newell picked off by Rutten. 
Rutten brings the ball back around. He finds Webster right side. Webster brings it out to the top of the key. Defensive intensity just getting greater and greater now by the Otters. They trail by um, 27, so it needs to be a body um, foul off the ball by the Cardinals. It's going to be on Christensen, his second, team's second. Should be team's third, and they finally do put that up. So that gives the ball back to the Otters now as they bring it back up. Arneson dribbles, drives, penetration, kicks it off left side. He finds Christensen. Christensen works it around. He has it top of the key, puts it over to Grease. Grease dribble drive down low and goes over Christensen. Christensen fouled over the back on the rebound. So that's going to go back to the Cardinals. Ball's on number 31, Peter Draxton, and that's Draxton's first, team's fifth. Boy, Cardinals break the press like it didn't even happen. Ball tipped out of bounds by Arneson as he tries to get it over to Frisk. Cardinals control possession. 71 seconds now to go in the third quarter. Cardinals way out on top, 52-25. Underneath their own basket. Inbounds pass comes to Christensen. Christensen gets it back to Braver. Braver to Webster, top of the key. Can't find the home. Frisk with the board. Can't find it. Rutten with the board. He puts it up and in. Nice offensive rebounding work. Three of them right there by the Cardinals as Rutten puts it in. Arneson dribble drive down low left side. He shakes and bakes. Finally gets a bucket for the card or for the other. Arneson now with eight. Cardinals having a little bit of trouble against the pressure. Working against that 10-second call, and they get it. Peterson, the coach, tries to take a timeout before that 10-second call, but he didn't. So nice. Um, the press seems to be working a little bit for the Otters against the Cardinals. So the Otters now set to inbound the ball. Cassette finds Geese. Geese works against Run, pushes it to the left, then back to the middle. Hands it off to Arneson. Arneson now working for the last shot. 30 seconds to play in the third quarter. Arneson over to Cassette. Cassette back to Christensen. Christensen takes the three and he makes it. So Christensen, five points in the quarter with that three point. Cardinals break the pressure quickly. Slashing Shannon Webster, it's up and in. So the Cardinals score in two seconds on the inbound. Arneson now back, and he dribble drives in. He's going to be hacked by uh, Brever as he goes to the hole. So that'll be Brever's first person. Deep fourth. And that's going to put Arneson on the line. He'll be shooting um, uh, two. Arneson with eight points on the night. Leading scorer for the Otters. And the first one falls short. Shannon Webster sits down and the entire crowd um, gets a little excited for him. He's played a very nice game with 10 points. Arneson now with nine seconds on the clock takes his second free throw. That one does find the home. He now has nine. Inbounds comes to Christensen. Christensen finds Kelly. Kelly almost loses the ball, but boy, can that kid dribble. He gets through the pressure, and then finally a shot to Rutten at the buzzer, and it counts! Count it, Tim Rutten! The Rutten with four points. That's how the third quarter ends. Staples Motley trying to find the hole. Working it over. Arneson takes a shot. That falls short. Rebound going to be controlled by Yamelin. A foul on the inbounds pass there as um, Braver steps in front of it. That's Braver's second, team's fifth. Inbounds pass comes. Found to Christensen. Christensen works the ball around, finds Arneson. Arneson puts up a shot. Where there's a whistle, waiting to see what happens. Push on Kelly. 
So a couple of quick fouls against the Cardinals. Just continuing up with my with my stats here. So that's going to put Cassette on the line. He'll be shooting the one-on-one. -on -one. Cassette now puts it up and in. So he'll shoot again. Cassette's first points on the night. Otter's kind of coming off of the bench and having a better third quarter as Cassette misses the second. Cardinals come back down. Kelly works it right side. He tries to shake off Cassette. He does. Gets it over to Yamelin. Yamelin fouled by Larson. So that'll be Andy Larson's first. Team's fifth, sixth. Evan Friss comes out of the game. So does Wade Christensen. Yamelin Kelly, forever rotten in the game for the Cardinals. Kelly works against Cassette. Goes low post and he's hacked by the body. I believe he got number 45, Larson again. We'll see who the officials call it on. And it is. Larson picks up two. 7-10 to play in the fourth quarter. 58-32. Cardinals outscored. The Otters 19 to 15 in that second or third quarter, but the Otters got 10 points off of their bench with 15 points. That's their best. That last foul put the Cardinals into the penalty, and Jason Kelly takes a, three, a free throw and misses his first one. Rebound controlled up and in by the Cardinal or by the Otters. Geese brings it back down. He puts it up and in for two. Braver, fouled from behind, he goes down hard, he's stripped of the ball, Kelly comes down, hacks Geese in the act, and he'll put him at the line. Braver just absolutely got taken out of the game, Lynn Peterson goes crazy. Yamelin picks up a foul, and I believe Peterson got a technical. Peterson picks up a technical. They put Geese on the line. He makes the first. He has three points on the night. So technical for Peterson. And Geese makes the second. There was a foul also on the play. I believe Yamelin got um, called for a foul. So Geese gets to shoot four three throws with no one on him. And they're gonna get, the Otters are going to get the ball back. Geese puts up his fourth, and that falls short. So he goes two for two from the line in that mark. I believe they called Dustin Yamelin for his fourth foul. It's not up on the scoreboard, but I believe that's how it went. Otters inbound the ball after the technical, and they may go for two for two from the line. They get the ball back. Larson has the ball over on the far side. He puts it over. He finds Geese. Geese tries to work against Rutten. He does so very well, then pushes off to Arneson. Arneson with the dribble drive penetration. Can't find the home, and tipped out of bounds by the Cardinals. Both teams now in the bonus. Uh, they'll be shooting from here on out. Otters inbound underneath their own basket. Geese gets the ball on the long inbounds. Long three-pointer taken. That's up, hits the top of the backboard. Cassette just couldn't find the home. So the Cardinals come back with this one. They lead by 22, 58-36. Full court pressure now applied by the Otters. Ball stripped, but it goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Otters. Peterson wants a timeout, and they'll take a 20-second timeout, so we'll be back in 30 seconds. 58-36, Cardinals on top. We're back in 30. Go Northwest. Cardinals inbound the ball, and they give it up, but it's pushed out of bounds. Little confusion on the score clock is during the timeout, they wanted to find out how many uh, fouls each person had. I again was confused about that. I believe they called Yamelin for a foul at the same time that they teed up um, head coach Lynn Peterson. 
trying to listen in and find out who the foul was on. Um, the officials a little confused on this one as we want to know who it is. Peterson just beside himself on the, at the officials in the last few minutes. Don't know who he finally, I think they're going to give Yamelin another foul. I thought I saw Bill Fisher call it that way. We'll see. Rutney gets the ball inbounded, and he's going to be fouled, and he's bailed out as he, um, almost, he wasn't going anywhere, working on a five-second call, if not the ten-second call against that press. Leave the fouls on Cassette. That'll be his second. Team's eighth. That's going to put Rutten on the line. He shoots the one-on-one. -on -one. Boy, a lot of confusion here in the last few minutes. As we get the game going, Rutten puts up the first, makes it. Rutten with seven points so far, or five points, excuse me, on the night. Oh, yeah, Jim gave me a score. Jim Sundstrom gave me a score. Wadena Deer Creek, 27. Bertha Hewitt, 17. Girls basketball. Rutten makes the other. He now has six points. Otters push the pressure back again. Geese puts it over to Arneson. Arneson, a long way from the hoop, trying to make his magic. Gets it to Christensen. Christensen over to Larson. Mostly bench players now for the... Um, Otters, but they're played a solid nine. Arneson takes a leaner left side baseline. Rebound controlled by Yamelin. Yamelin pushes it off to Braver. Braver brings it down the court for the Cards. Cardinals not in a hurry to do anything here. As they work it around. Webster now has the ball top of the key. Almost back near the timeline as the Cardinals are in a little bit of a time-killing situation. 5.40 to play. Yamelin gets the ball, puts it behind his back, puts up a shot. Can't find the hole. Rebound controlled by Drexton. Ball comes down quickly. Can't find the hole. Rebound tipped out of bounds by Yamelin. So Yamelin tips the ball out of bounds. Cardinals, or excuse me, Otters control the ball. Josh Schwenberg now inbounding underneath his own basket. Tipped away by Braber. Braber has Webster out front. Webster going to be not hacked from behind and just puts it home. Webster now with 12. Geese comes back for the Otters. He works against Rutten. Rutten rattles it around, puts it over to Larson. Larson. Back to Arneson. Arneson with a three from the top of the key. Count it. Justin Arneson. 12 points on the night with that three-point shot. Jason Kelly brings the ball back up for the Cardinals over to Brever. Brever dribble penetration in. He finds Rutten. Runs it off to Webster. Webster puts up a baseline jumper. Let. Doesn't get it. Arneson with the board. He's got it tipped away by Kelly. Kelly's going to get the foul from behind. Peterson's upset. Kelly's got nothing but ball on that one, and he gets a foul. That's a heartbreaker. That's Kelly's second. More importantly, he puts Arneson on the line, shoot two. Or shooting the one-on-one. -on -one. Kelly's third, so they must have called Kelly on that fall, and Yamelin must have three. However, I believe the score clock is more confused than I am at this point. 4.46 in the fourth quarter, which has been kind of a rattly one. Zarneson puts the first, of the, the one and one up and makes it, so he'll shoot the bonus. Arneson with 13 on the night, shooting for 14. To narrow the margin just a little here, he makes it. Now 62-41. Cardinals facing the full court pressure. Yamelin calls timeout as he um, uh, was going to get a five-second or a five-second violation. With a 20-second timeout of the 441 mark, Staples Motley 62, Fergus Falls 41. We're back in 30 seconds. Back in action now. Cardinals trying to break it past the timeline. They just do as Webster gets it as a, on a ball intended for Yamelin. Defense now just staggering by the card or by the Otters. Keller. Christensen has the ball and it's stripped down on the floor. Erickson gets the ball, he puts it up and in, count it! He'll go to the line. So the basket's good, fouls on Christensen. That's Wade's third, the team's 10th. 
So that's going to put Erickson on the line. He's made his fourth point on that one. He has a shot for the three-point opportunity. He dribbles, puts it down. And it rattles around no good. Christensen with the board off, off to Brever. Brever finds Kelly. Kelly is one of the better dribblers I've seen. He's just pushed by Erickson. Hand checking all the way. Kelly gets it over to Brever. Brever now works it over to Kelly. Kelly down to Yamelin. Yamelin's just attacked, mauled, left out to dry. And he's obviously fouled. Dust, I believe, Cassette gets the foul on that one. So that'll put Yamelin on the line, shooting the one-on-one. -on -one. So that'll be Cassette's third. Yamelin puts the shot up, and it's short. So rare miss by Dustin Yamelin. Otters charge back now, playing a lot better basketball with this defensive pressure. Long three-pointer taken and making by Arneson. 17 now by Arneson as he comes alive. Webster out in front, and he's hacked on the dribble drive penetration. Foul's going to be called on Christensen. That's Titus's first. Team's tap, so we got super bonus either way. Super bonus meaning that both teams shoot two anytime there's a foul. So with the first and second quarter that the Cardinals have, they're probably most likely going to cruise to a pretty easy victory as Webster makes his 13th point. But they've seen a lot of different defense here now coming down the wire and some pressure by the Otters. And that's really going to come in handy for this team as they get down. And they call it the Otter ball off of the miss and with the confusion. <laughs> it's almost like the official got talked into it by the ninth grade team sitting there on the bench on the other side of the, or not on the bench, but in the stands. So Cardinals inbound underneath their own basket. Yamelin gets the ball, gets it to Braver, top of the key. Slashing Webster, wide open shot, counted. Webster with 15. Shannon Webster last night had 16. He's got 15 tonight. He's looked equally impressive. Long three-point shot taken by the Otters. They can't find the hole. Erickson just threw up a prayer. Ball stolen then by Arneson coming back. Arneson, nice shake-and-bake move. Puts it up, but he can't bring it home. Yamelin with the rebound after that. Three minutes to play here in the game. 65-46, Cardinals. Christensen comes up, tackles braver so remember you follow their waist when you when you tackle someone and that's pretty much what he did looking right at his belt buckle hits him and that's his second titus christensen that's going to put braver on the line shooting it two shots braver with 10 points tonight Eight of which coming in the first quarter with two three three point shots. Then he got two in the second. He misses the first, but of course he gets the two. So the Cardinals three for seven, now four for eight in the fourth quarter. Missing a lot of free throws. They don't usually do that. Braver with eleven. Arneson, who takes a long three, drains it, oh my! Someone's gotta get on Arneson, you gotta wonder. He, he was a long way from the hoop, but man, you gotta wonder, inbounds pass tipped away by the Otters. Cardinals retain possession, but underneath the Otter basket, Webster has to, is forced to take his third time out. Third time out now due to pressure. That's going to be a full time out. 2.46 to play. 66. Using Sowers Construction of Staples. Sowers Construction can help you with all of your construction needs. Sowers Construction specializes in cement work. They do sidewalks, steps, block and brick work, foundations, basement floors. If you need cement work, hire Sowers Construction of Staples. And no matter what type of project you have going, call Charlie today at Sowers Construction. 218 894 
218-894-3758. That's 218-894-3758. We're back in Staples Motley. Long inbounds pass while we were away. It goes out of the outstretched hands to Wade Christensen. Hits the out of, hits the wall. And just as that, Fergus Ball takes the 22nd timeout. But that time is over, so we're going to keep it right here. Again, my thanks to Jim Sundstrom back running the boards. Just a few minutes in front of 9 o'clock here on Superstation K106, KKWS, Wadena, Brainerd, Park Rapids. Jim telling us in girls basketball, Wadena Deer Creek 27, Bertha Hewitt 17. Inbound pass over the head now of Arneson, so that goes right back to the Cardinal. So no time went off the clock, but two turnovers in the book on that one. Both in the same general direction of nobody. So the Cardinals facing that full court pressure with the full length of the court. Kelly gets the inbounds right side. He's dribbled, tripped from behind, and there's going to be a foul. Kelly really has the wheels. He's fouled by Ness. I believe either Ness or Arneson. So Kelly will be on the line. He'll shoot two. It's Arneson who gets the foul, and it's his first. So Kelly now shooting two point or two free throws with the super bonus with the 243 mark. He misses the first. Cardinals missing a lot of free throw. Kelly 0 for 2 now here in the fourth quarter and the game. Shannon Webster sits down with 15 points. He's replaced by Tim Runton with six. Kelly dribbles once, twice, puts it up. That one off the clank. Christensen with the board, puts it up and in. The Wade Christensen back, he has 10. Otters come back down. Arneson dribbles, or travels as he does a dribble drive. So Cardinals continue to hold home court. Wade Christensen pointing to the crowd. The crowd's juice, the team's juice. Lynn Peterson is not happy. I mean, there's something for a coach to be concerned, but there has been some questionable calls, and the way his team's handled this full-court pressure has not ha made him happy at all, because you know there's a scout or two in the crowd tonight. They handled the pressure quite well that time. Kelly gets a jump stop through the top of the key. He dribbles it over to Braver. Braver trying to push it down low. Dribble drive penetration. No, brings it back. He reloads, takes a timeout. So the timeout at 2.14 to play, 68-49, Cardinals on top. We're back in a minute. Get an appointment, call 631-1100 or 800-880-DOCS. Back in Staples Modley, the Cardinals take a timeout. They have one timeout left. Both teams, I believe, have one timeout. They have the ball at their own timeline. Braver slashes, gets the inbound. 2.13 out of play. Rutten gets the ball back. Rutten dribbles it around. Rutten and Braver just playing a weave catch here on the top of the key. Rutten now back to Braver. Braver comes off. Nice spin move down the lane. Gets it to Kelly. Kelly now. Oh, nice time work here by the Cardinals. They've eaten away about 30 seconds. They're working on 40. Kelly now with the ball top of the key. He looks to do a little dish down low to Christensen. Christensen packed as he goes hard to the hoop. And the two men hug him. Two men hugging down low with some sweat. So we're going to have a two-shot penalty. Fouls on uh, number 11, Cassette. That's his fourth foul. So Christensen's going to shoot two. Wade with 10 on the night to count at 11. One forty-four mark. Boy, the Cardinals are really doing some nice time management there. Christensen puts the second one up. He has 12. Small comes inbounds to Erickson. Erickson gives it back over to Cassette. Cassette brings it to the top of the key over to Arneson. Arneson takes a long three. Shaft that. Christensen takes the long three. Makes it. He has eight now. Full court pressure again by the Otters. A little bit of trouble. Rutten gets the ball back over to Kelly. Kelly puts it up to Braver. Braver has the man open down low, but he loses the dribble but contains it, and he's hacked. He's going to be followed by um, Timothy Erickson. That'll be Erickson's second. That's going to put Braver on the line, shooting two. A lot of fouls in this game. Both teams 
I shouldn't say both teams playing a lot of people. Cardinals have gone with six. They have seen Frisk a little bit for a fifth player. Braver puts the first shot up and in. He now has 12 points on the night. Braver puts the second shot up, count it. Gusset brings it back down for the Otters. Over to Christensen. Christensen, dribble drive, blows pass, run, puts up a shot, makes it. Christensen now with 10. Kelly inbounds the pass to Yamelin. Yamelin with the dribble, picks it up, gets it to Kelly. Kelly dribbles to everybody and he falls down. Skin grafts may be needed, but we get it by the timeline. Ball's going to be on number five, Christensen, Titus Christensen. That's his third. It's going to send Jason Kelly to the line, shooting two. So I believe Jared Cowles is going to get into the game. The 6'5 senior, he'll replace the shooter, Jason Kelly. Kelly puts up his first and makes it. Kelly with nine. Peterson now unloading the bench. Jairus, Sorensen, Burroughs. Grandlin. All into the game. Crowd's going nuts, and I'll tell you what, I haven't seen Wayne Christensen in this Cardinal team this juiced in a while. Kelly puts up the second shot. That falls no good. Rebound controlled by the Otters. Otters come back down under a minute to play now. They work it around to Erickson. Erickson takes a long three, counted. Looks like they want to make this look a little closer. Grandlin now dribbles the ball up the court, works against the pressure, does it well, crosses the timeline, picks up his dribble. He gets it off over to Burroughs. Burroughs back to Grandlin. Grandlin over to Kelly. Kelly, the only starter back on the floor. He dribbles it through. Nice down low pass to Cowles. Cowles has it rejected. Otters come back. Nice up flop the floor pass to number 11, Cassette. Cassette puts it up and in for his third point of the night. Grandlin tries to find Cowles down low again. Finally picked up by number four. And then up and in by, who was it? Burroughs. So Burroughs gets on the scoreboard for the Cardinals. Four seconds left, a long three-point shot taken. That goes out of bounds. That's about going to wrap it up. Half a second left as the quarterback for the football team, Bob Jairs, gets into the game, replaces Jason Kelly, who had a nice game with nine points. Then the inbound pass comes in, and that's how it ends. 75-59, an impressive victory for the staples Motley Cardinals, beating a very good Fergus Falls Otter team. So we're going to come back in two minutes. We'll look at the scoring. Once again, our final is Staples.